Welcome everybody to The Late Night Show. I'm your host Simon Simbarashi. We have all heard about the constantly growing conflict between aliens and the locals here in Strange Town. Tonight we ask multiple sims who are personally involved in this delicate matter, including an alien. But first, let's hear a testimony from a woman who recently experienced an alien abduction and returned to share her impressions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our very special guest, Bella Goth. Hi Simon. First of all, do you like my makeup? It's horrible, really. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> so Bella, is it true that you've been saved by the astronauts serving in Strange Town's army? No Simon, absolutely not. I didn't need to be rescued. My abductors were very friendly all along. And how would you describe this friendliness? Are these creatures coming to us in peace? Yes, they are completely peaceful. I'd like to grab this opportunity to inform the city council about this as well. Sure, it's important because based on the latest news, the local army is preparing a nuclear attack against the aliens. Yes, I heard about it. And this is exactly why we need to inform the council and prevent this. Do you think the council would believe you? I mean, standing up for such a cause will require a lot of courage and charisma from your part. I know. I'll try to do my best. I will wear my best makeup to convince them. I don't think that's going to work. You should rather focus on describing their friendly nature. <sighs> All right, I'll do that. Thanks for the advice, Simon. Our next guest literally traveled through the galaxy to be here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first official alien inhabitant of our neighborhood, Pollination Technician Number 9 Smith. Many of us think that aliens are emotionless things, like robots. That's definitely not true. We have emotions just like any other sims. I'm also a big fan of art. Don't act like a snob. We are here to find out whether your people are friendly. Of course we are friendly. For example, I married a beautiful human sim, Jenny. Please tell us more about your marriage. How did an alien from a faraway galaxy meet a sim from Strange Town? Sure, we met when I got old and retired here, on this beautiful planet. And will you share something about your adulthood? Do aliens have universities where they can study? Yes, of course we have universities. But there we only get to experiment on rodents. <laughs> and what are your experiences in learning Simlish? Can you already speak every language of the United Sim Nations? Yes, I had to learn them all to be able to express my peaceful intentions towards everyone. So you have peaceful intentions. Would you offer money to make them believe that? I know that humans are all about the money, and actually my home planet contained a lot of gold. So do you still have any of it, just in case you need to buy off someone's peace? Assuring peace is my priority, but I believe more in diplomatic means. Thank you Mr. Smith. I wish you all the best. When we come back after a short commercial break, we will interview someone from the opposite side. My next guest is going to be a devoted anti-alien protester, and the leader of the local army, General Buzz. Stay tuned. Hey, aren't you bored of not understanding us? We have our own meaningful stories, jokes and opinions you know. Subscribe now to discover all of our secrets. You're just one click away from understanding us. Welcome back to The Late Night Show with Simon Simbarashi. Our next guest is a devoted anti-alien activist and the leader of the Strange Town Army. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome General Buzz Grunt. General Grunt, we heard about the nuclear offensive you are planning against the aliens. 
Do you think it's too late for a diplomatic approach? There's nothing wrong with diplomacy, as long as it stays within the council. Do you think that the city council would make a mistake by choosing a friendly approach? Let me ask you, why should I believe that someone is friendly just because he married a human? Anyway, the city council just announced this possible nuclear attack. Can you share more details about the project? I'd love to but the project is still very much in its infancy. To really see every aspect of this topic we invited a scientist as well who spent years looking for UFOs in the night sky. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome VidCon Curious. VidCon, you've been studying alien culture for years. Did you find something you'd like to share? Yes I did. Have you ever kissed an alien? It's awesome. <laughs> A common belief about aliens is that they are lifeless like robots. What do you think about that? I heard about that misconception. For these sims, I'd recommend to build a rocket ship and go see it for themselves. Let's build a rocket ship and experience those alien kisses, like there's no tomorrow. Yes, that kiss will change your opinion, I guarantee it. Just know how to ask for it. Please Vidkund, teach us the proper words. I'm sure everyone is eager to know how to ask for a kiss from an alien. It's smudge felon. You don't learn such thing at university, do you? <laughs> We've learned so much tonight about alien culture, thanks to our dear guests. Finally, let's listen to Bella Goth performing her brand new song. Thank you for watching. Good night everybody. Make a to the bow. I wear the mock I trickle